and gentlemen, and thank you for watching the show. This is your Top Think Tank's review. I'm your host, Bryce Dolan. Now, according to the Brookings Institution, recidivism rates in the United States are high. Two-thirds of offenders leaving prison will be rearrested within three years. This is partly due to how difficult it is for people with criminal records to find reliable employment that can put them on a law-abiding track. Cities and states have struggled to find ways to help this group find jobs, and there is very little research to guide them. However, there is one innovative new policy that appears to make a big difference. Court-issued certificates that signal an individual's work readiness. Several jurisdictions across the country allow individuals with criminal records to seek employability certificates from local courts. It works like this. A judge considers evidence of the person's actions since conviction and can issue a certificate if he or she is deemed to have been rehabilitated. The hope is that this piece of paper will convince employers to give job applicants with a criminal record a chance, particularly applicants with recent convictions. And it seems to work. New research finds that having an employability certificate dramatically improves a job applicant's chances of getting an interview, and presumably a job. The certificates provide a positive signal to employers that an objective judge with detailed knowledge of the applicant's history and behavior determined that he or she is work ready. Now, employers have genuine concerns about hiring people with criminal records. Figuring out what those concerns are can point us to innovative policies that address them. Employability certificates show promise. Cities and states will be experimenting with such policies in the coming years. Lawmakers should pay close attention to which ones turn out to be most successful at increasing employment for people with criminal records and ultimately reducing recidivism. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is a huge issue in the United States. Recidivism is high. That is, the chances of an offender who is released from prison being rearrested within those first three years of being free. Now, it's hard for people getting out of this prison system, having this record with these charges, to go lead a rehabilitated life when they try to get a job and people tell them, oh, we can't hire you because you're a criminal. And they just keep keep being told that, oh, you're a criminal, you're a criminal. And if you keep telling them that, they're going to revert back to their criminal ways and get rearrested and be back in the system and be right back where they were at ground zero. So what do you do? Do you just keep turning these people away? No, this is a great step to improving post-prison life for offenders. Now, is this like where we should stop? Absolutely not. This is a great start to what we need to begin to paying attention to. This is a great start to get employers to look at ex-offenders as so-called normal people. So even though this isn't the solution to the problem, this is definitely a giant step in the right direction. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I encourage you to check out this article on the Brookings Institute Institution website. You can find the link below in the description. While you're doing that, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can get notified every time a new video is posted. Give our Facebook pages a like and follow us on Twitter. But thank you for watching the show, ladies and gentlemen. That does it for your top think tanks review. I was your host, Bryce Dolan. Thank you.